Nowadays, HIV is a treatable chronic disease, a major reason why HIV-infected people can now stay healthy for a long time is because we learned how to keep the virus from evolving. In other words, HIV was tamed. The medications that are now used for HIV work extremely well. Many people take just one pill per day, like the one on the left, which is called a tripla. In addition, if you are not infected, you can take this blue one on the right, which is called Truvada, and which prevents HIV infection. It works just like the other one on the right, which many of us take to prevent pregnancy. All around the world, millions of people are taking drugs to keep their HIV virus under control. Around half a million in the United States, 10 million in Africa. These drugs work wonders, as long as the virus doesn't evolve. But in each patient, there is a risk that the virus evolves and becomes resistant to the drugs. So what does it mean that the virus evolves? Well, most people get infected with the normal or wild type virus. The drugs will work well, so that's good. But if you're unlucky, the virus in your body can change, mutate and evolve. And then the meds will not work anymore. And this can happen in any patient. The goal of treatment is to keep the patient healthy. But to keep the patient healthy, we need to keep the amount of virus in the body as low as possible. The meds can only do this if the virus isn't drug resistant. If the virus evolves and becomes resistant, it will be able to replicate. And then there will be a lot of virus in your body and it will attack your immune system. When a patient in the 1980s started taking drugs, initially things would go well. The amount of virus in the blood of the patient would go down quickly. But after a few weeks or months, there would suddenly be a lot of virus again, as if the drugs didn't work anymore. And indeed, the drugs didn't work anymore because the virus had evolved. It had become resistant. Researchers in laboratories discovered that the resistant virus was just slightly different from the normal virus. Sometimes a single letter change in the genetic sequence of the virus is enough to make it resistant. So we need to make sure that the virus cannot evolve. But how do you keep something from evolving? Traditionally, this is not the kind of question that evolutionary biologists think about. And in the 1980s, no one knew how to keep HIV from becoming resistant. In the 1990s, new drugs were discovered and developed in laboratories. And this meant that we could make new combinations of drugs. The new challenge was to find the best combination of drugs. Should one take two drugs or three or four? Which treatment would work and prevent the virus from getting those genetic changes that make it resistant? Here, the problem is that despite many decades of evolutionary research, we are not very good in predicting evolution. So the only way to determine which combination of drugs is best at preventing the evolution of drug resistance is to try them out in real people in a clinical trial. So how do we do a clinical trial? Well, it's relatively easy. Suppose all of you are HIV infected and ready to start treatment. We have two possible treatments to compare, so we'll split you up into two groups. Everybody on the left goes into group one and gets the blue and pink pills, and everybody on the right goes into group two and gets the colorful pills. Now we follow each of you very carefully. You come back to the clinic every three months and we check how much virus there is in your blood, and if there's virus, we look at the genetic sequence to see if it has one of the mutations that make it resistant. After some time, we add up the numbers. Which group is doing better? In which group are there more people in which the drugs are still keeping the virus under control? If the colorful pills did better, then from then on, these will become the standard treatment. Until another trial shows that yet another treatment works even better. In this way, every trial will help to find a better way to treat patients and to prevent the evolution of the virus. Are you surprised that patients are willing to be guinea pigs? Well, the patients in the trials often get the very best treatment that's available and very close monitoring, so they are probably fine. But clearly, this should not be taken lightly. There are many ethical issues involved in running clinical trials. The result is that in the 1980s, almost all patients had resistant virus after a year of treatment. In the late 90s, things were getting much better. And nowadays, almost all patients are doing really well and their virus is not evolving. For HIV infected people, this is great news. And for most people, 
It doesn't matter why the modern treatments work so well. But me, I'm a scientist, so I spend my days thinking, why? Why are these new treatments so good at preventing the evolution of resistance? I'm curious, but I also think that this information can help us prevent the evolution of other viruses and bacteria. So we have several ideas. The virus, in order to become resistant, it needs the right mutation. But mutations occur randomly. It's as if the virus is playing the lottery. If it mutates, it buys a lottery ticket, but it's not guaranteed that it's a winning one. The goal of my research is to understand how this lottery works. If treatment is not working well, then the virus can replicate and mutate a lot. It's as if it can buy a lot of lottery tickets every day. Sooner or later, it will buy the winning one. Successful treatment, on the other hand, reduces the number of lottery tickets the virus can buy. In addition, good treatment probably reduces the winning chances per ticket, because only very specific genetic changes can result in resistance to the best drugs. Clinical trials help us find the treatments that prevent HIV from winning the lottery, even without understanding how the lottery works. So I hope that you'll remember that to find the best treatment, we have to try them out in clinical trials. The goal is to prevent evolution in order to stay healthy. And with that, I hope that you will stay healthy and that you'll enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you.